Hello, my name is Tristan McKinnon. You're watching Asia Business News. This is the Australian market report of March the 10th. Overnight, US stocks fell in a choppy trade and hit a fresh low in more than 12 years. Some banks and oil stocks rebounded, but the broader US market was down as investors were fearful that the recession is spreading further and lasting longer. Yesterday, the Australian market ended slightly higher. The big miners such as BHP and Rio Tinto pushed the market up despite falls in the banking and finance sector, according to CMC Markets. The benchmark S&P ASX 200 index was up 9 points, or 0.29%, at 3,154.5, while the Broad Ordinaries index rose 10 points to 3,121.7. The big miners today are not likely to help the market after the fall of commodity prices and lacking positive news from the US. For today's key economic facts and figures, the Dun and Bradstreet survey of business expectations found that 65% of firms expecting declining profits in the June quarter in response to the deteriorating economy, and 57% of those surveyed anticipated a drop in sales. Moving on to mergers and acquisitions. Fortescue Metals has agreed to sell a further 86.8 Australian million of its shares to China, Hunan, Valen Iron and Steel Group Company. Valen's stake in Fortescue will rise to 17.4% after the sale of new shares. Rio Tinto has sold the Jacobs Ranch thermal coal mine in the US to Arc Coal Incorporated for a US $761 million. This brings Rio's total asset sales announced this year to $2.5 billion US. Oil and gas explorer Nexus Energy expected to reveal the results of its proposals in relation to asset sales and debt raising alternatives. Nexus has been searching for a partner to fund the development of the Crooks project since Mitsui of Japan abandoned a US $255 million deal to buy 25% stake in October. Jupiter Mines, their shareholders have overwhelmingly approved a partial takeover by former BHP Billiton. Bross buying Gilbertson. Under the deal, Mr. Gilbertson's Pallinghurst Resources and associated company Red Rock Resources will receive new Jupiter equity to boost their combined holding of 19.9% to 55.5%. The poker machine maker Aristocat Leisure said it will avoid underwriting its dividend reinvestment plan. Most Aristocat shareholders shied away from taking extra shares in the company, opting for cash instead. Avexa Limited has failed in its attempt to merge with Progen Pharmaceuticals. Progen dumped its unpopular merger plan, saying proxy voting had been decisively and ambiguously opposed to the union. Now for important corporate news. Centrex Metals said the company remains optimistic that its application to export from Port Lincoln's main wharf will succeed. The company has completed a development application for its alternative route via proper base south of Port Lincoln, but will not progress that before the Brennan Jetty application is settled. Shares of Hastings Diversified Utilities Fund fell to their record lows amid the concerns that the company will be forced to sell assets in a buyer's market. Shares have fallen nearly two thirds in the last week and more than 80% in the past month. Thanks for watching. This is Asia Business News. I'm Tristan McKinnon.